Are you taking a trip to Cozumel and trying to figure out which beach club to go to on the cheap? Well, we did a ton of research and we found a diamond in the rough. Today, we're going to talk about it. Let's get to it. Let's rock. Woo! Hey rockers, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the channel and you like cruising and all-inclusive resorts, then make sure to like and subscribe. Hey guys, real quick, the response to the group cruise info has been amazing. Thank you so much. If you want to go on a group cruise with us late next year, we're going to announce it pretty soon. Go ahead and go to rockintheboat.club. That's rockintheboat.club. And go ahead and sign up. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. We're just collecting information on your name, which cruise port you live next to, your favorite cruise line, so we can decide which cruise we're going to take. Uh, quick shout out to a few people that signed up recently. Tony F. We have Mary L. And we have Deneen S. Thank you so much for signing up. Can't wait to see you on the ship. So we just got back from cruising on the Carnival Conquest, and one of the stops was Cozumel, Mexico. Yes, and we wanted to go to a beach club, and most people think of Mr. Sancho's Paradise Beach Club, but we only had six hours at the island, so if you watch our channel, you know we go on a ton of trips, and the way we do that is I find the cheapest way to get from point A to point B, and then find the best value when we get there to save the most money. That's what I'm gonna be doing every single night. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Those other clubs I mentioned cost about double of what this place cost. And where we went was the Del Mar Latino Beach Club. One of the ways that we saved money on this excursion was by not having to take a taxi. The other beach resorts, you have to take a taxi, which is about a 15 to $20 ride each way. This resort is walking distance. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's only one kilometer from the ship. Now, we read some reviews before we went where people said, oh, it's too far, I would never do it again, or, oh, it's not that bad, but we wanted to find out for ourselves. So, <laughs> it's really simple. When you get off the ship, you walk out of the port, and you make a left. You hang a left, and you're going to see the boardwalk with a bunch of amazing shops, a bunch of different restaurants. It's perfect because if you need to grab some sunscreen or you need to grab a Speedo or a banana hammock like I did. <laughs> Just kidding. I only wear a Speedo when I'm in Europe. <laughs> no, but you know, seriously, I do like a little bit of a shorter trunk. That's right, because I'm so fit. <laughs> so you can see right here on the screen, I did a little map for you. It's literally left and then a right out to the main highway and then you make a left and walk down, I don't know, another seven minutes. It's not far at all. Now, if you're nervous about this walk because you're in Mexico, you don't have to worry because it was lovely. You're gonna see in the video all the tourists um, are you know, on this path and it is super safe. We felt that anyway. Yes. One of the things you want to make sure you don't want to miss is about halfway on the walk, you're going to see the famous Cozumel sign. Multicolor, it's stacked up, and then behind it is the beautiful views of all the ships that are in port that day. Make sure to stop there. It's the perfect Insta spot. Once you arrive at the resort, the check-in process is simple. Now what you're going to do is pay a 20% deposit before you show up. When you get there, you pay the remaining balance. You're going to walk up straight to the bar. Someone's going to be there to check you in. They're going to give you a wristband. And then you need to find out where you're going to camp out for the day. That part is extremely easy because if you can believe it, this place only takes 30 reservations a day. So it is ultra private. Now figuring out where you want to sit is easy. They have these amazing comfy lounge chairs that you can choose from sitting under a palm tree, in the sun, under an umbrella. And if you don't want to sit in a lounge chair, you can float in the amazing infinity pool. Yeah, the infinity pool is one of the highlights at the resort. It's not humongous, but it doesn't need to be. It's a small private club. But when you're floating in that pool, you feel like you're on the ocean. It's just right there. Oh, yeah. So the resort doesn't have a sandy beach, but it does have access to the ocean. So bring your water shoes and your snorkel gear 
because you're going to take that stairway into the ocean. That's what I call the stairway to heaven. So let's talk about the food. They've got a couple of different menus which um, consist of hot foods and cold foods. Now some of the items are the coconut shrimp which was my favorite. They also have ceviche and simple things like hot dogs and hamburgers and nachos and tacos. Let's talk about the drinks. Now I wasn't expecting much as far as the alcohol goes because the price of this place was so cheap but if you can believe it the house whiskey was Jack Daniels, the vodka was Absolute, and the rum was Bacardi. It's not top shelf, but it's pretty damn good. And also, if you're going to order a beer, they had Tecate, yes, but they also had Corona as an option, which most of those bars don't. So, you can find fruity drinks, like daiquiris and stuff like that. You can find anything you want, and it's all you can drink. Let's talk about the service. Now, you wouldn't expect much for the price of this place, but I'll tell you what, if you order a drink, it is there within 30 seconds, maybe a minute max. It gets there right away. The food does tend to take a little bit longer. I think maybe when we got there, a lot of people had put orders in for food because it did take about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes to get our food, but we didn't care because we were having fun. Uh, but they're all super nice, very friendly, helpful. They speak great English, too, if you're worried about that. So I would give them... Probably a 10 out of 10 for service. What about you? 10 <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> All 10s, baby. <laughs> so a few things to mention about the Beach Club is that they are open only Monday through Saturday from 8 to 5 p.m. This is an adults only Beach Club, which means 18 and up. They have very clean restrooms, they have changing rooms, and showers. And one of the best things is they got free Wi-Fi. So, how much did all this cost? You're probably wondering because we haven't brought it up yet, but if you can believe it, you can get there at 8 a.m., drink as many drinks as you want, eat as much food as you want, all the way till 5 p.m. And we paid the whopping price of, drum roll please. Da, 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 da. $39. $39 each, okay? That wasn't just for entry, that was for the whole thing, all the food, all the drinks, everything. The infinity pool, that's about half the price of the other beach clubs, maybe a little bit more than half, but still. We were only there from noon because our, our boat didn't get there, the ship didn't get there till noon, and we left at five, so half the day is worth $39. Yes! So we'll definitely be going back. It's the most affordable way to go to Cozumel and have a great time, drinks, food, everything. You can walk there, you save on the taxi fare. So uh, overall, definitely worth it. And we'll be going back. Find the link below and book your reservation. That's all we have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to hit subscribe. We're almost at that thousand subscribers. Remember, we want to grow this community to where we can give away a cruise every month and then every week, as many as we can. We're just not quite big enough yet. But we want you to be part of the family. Also, go to rockintheboat.club if you haven't. Just put in your name and what port you live close to. We'll let you know when the group cruise comes up. We'd love for you to join us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Remember to always keep rocking rockin the, the boat. boat. See you next time. Woo!